morning, it's Kara and today I'm giving you my day 7 and the final update for the Booktubeathon. Look, I made my bed today! Yay! Okay, so yesterday, which actually was day 7 of the Booktubeathon, I had a great reading day. It was so good. In fact, I read, let me just check this. Where'd it go? 791 pages. Like what? What? I don't know how I did it. I just somehow read practically all day and even though I didn't now, even though I didn't reach my goal, I did read a lot, so I was happy about that. So first off, early in the morning before I went to bed, I read 34 pages and finished Deadly Heat by Richard Castle. This is really good. I really like that. I'll talk about more in my wrap-up, which I'll be filming right after this. And then I read some of, and then when I woke up again, finished, Everything Leads to You by Nina Lacour, which I also loved, and I'll talk about it in my wrap-up. And then I read, yeah, yeah, it's still going, it's still going. Then I read Rebel by Amy Tintera, read the whole thing, yes, yes, also really enjoyed, and we'll talk about it in my wrap-up. And then I read 110 pages of Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. And I did all this in a midnight to a midnight. While sleeping a good eight hours. <laughs> I don't know how I did it. Magic, maybe? Maybe? I don't really know. So I didn't finish Hollow City by Ransom Briggs, which means I didn't complete two of my challenges, but I got a good chunk out of it. So, oh well, it doesn't really worry me too much. I still managed to complete five out of the seven challenges. So I won't talk about this one in my wrap-up, but I'll talk about it in my monthly July wrap up so you'll see this then because I will have finished it by then. So essentially that's the books I read. So the challenge for today, there are two of them. One is book dominoes which I would love to do but I am not because I don't have that many books here um, and not much space. Like I have this little bit of floor just beside me and that's about it. So I'm not going to do that but I'm going to show you where I've been reading. So primarily during the course of the Booktubeathon and most of the time that I'm at uni, I either read in this chair that I'm sitting in right here with my feet up on my side table slash bookshelf in this really comfy position, just reading, just reading my book, like, like, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I stick my feet up even higher, but most of the time I'm just, just comfy, just like this. But I am sitting on a spinny chair with wheels. So I start slowly sliding back. And when I get sick of that, or when I'm just not wanting to be seated at my computer anymore, because, like, I like to computer while reading, I sit on my bed, which I will just change the view for a second, is right there. Okay, let's show you that. Bed. Yeah. Bed. Bed. All of these are comfy positions. Much like. And that is where I've been reading during the Booktubeathon. Most of the time it's been here, in these two spots. Um, sometimes I was on a train because I did go places during the Booktubeathon. Other times, actually I don't even know if I ever did. I was thinking I might have done some reading down on my campus, but I don't think I did. I think I took my book a couple of days, well, you know, all the days, because who doesn't take a book with them? But I was actually like in lectures and stuff, so I didn't read. I played games on my phone instead, <laughs> so that I actually looked like I was half paying attention in class uh, while writing notes. So multitasking, the joy of a uni student, mm-hmm. But yeah, that's where I've been reading this past week and like the past ever. Mm, yeah, not much more to it than that. 
And then when I get really grumpy, I just give up on reading. If I'm sick of those two positions, seeing as there really isn't many other places. And that's about all I have for you today for this update. I'm about to now go film my wrap up and talk about all the books I actually, I actually read. No, I'm going to talk about all the books I read and tell you what I thought of them and how many challenges I completed, etc, etc. And yes, oh, also over the past 24 hours I read some, I read, I watched some more episodes of Castle, like while I was cooking dinner and eating breakfast and, and the like. So I did also get some more episodes of Castle and I think I'm now up to like the fourth or fifth episode of season one. Even though I've already watched them before, this is a rewatch, but you know. And that's about all for today. I will, oh, I didn't put the thing back up. That's why I was trying to get myself on the screen. I will talk to you in like 10 minutes once I get relocated to film my wrap up. And expect that video up very, very shortly. So, I'll see you then. Bye!